What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get out of a slump. And stay tuned to the end, because I got a couple tips for you on how to never slump again. So you may have just heard a few days ago, Chris Davis just snapped his 0 for 54 streak. Yikes right? Um, so I myself never experienced an 0 for 54, but I definitely experienced a one, many 1 for 20s, maybe 2 for 30, something like that. And, you know, some definitely some pretty cold streaks in my career. And I got to tell you, it is one of the most difficult things that you're going to face um, in the, during the course of your baseball career. So I myself as a player was very, very hot or very, very cold. I, I just didn't have the the knowledge or the experience at the time during my career to be able to get myself out of these cold streaks, right? Or even if I was in a, in a warm zone, right? I was just kinda, I was competing, I wasn't hot, I wasn't cold. Um, eventually I would still put pressure on myself to get out of this zone and to start performing to, to what I thought was my potential. That leads me to tip number one, and that is to understand peaks and valleys. Now, since peaks and valleys are just a normal part of the game, we run into problems when we start to hit one of those valleys, we begin to stress and we begin to start using the word slump. And now when we use the word slump, we are now in a slump. Okay. That's when that valley can turn into a canyon. Okay. And stuff really starts to get out of hand and we start to really dig ourselves into a deep, deep hole. So if we know that these peaks and valleys are coming, we can prepare for them. If we know that they're coming, we should not be surprised. Even the greatest players in the game, Trouts and Cabreras and Harpers and all these guys, they are all going to have their cold points, right? We don't see them as much because they play 162 games a year and they show only their, their best moments on, on ESPN every night on the highlight reel. So understanding that everybody, no matter who they are, experience these cold spells. Now, what separate the great from the good are the guys that can minimize these cold spells and that know what to do when they arise. So the challenge is going to be that once we start to, we begin to make our descend down into from our hot zone to our warm zone and maybe headed towards a cold zone is how can we minimize this cold zone? Okay, so tip number two is gonna be play the game. Okay, so when you get into these low cold zones, understand that this is a team game. That hey, when you're getting cold, maybe somebody else is getting warm and other guys are getting hot, right? And vice versa, when other guys are cold, maybe you're getting hot. And that's how teams win, is for playing with each other, learning how to play the game together. So when you're in a cold zone, play the game right? Play defense. Did you forget that there's a whole other side to this game? It's called defense. Quit worrying about your at-bats and your batting average when you're out on the field. Play hard defense. That's the other side of the game. Not enough guys value the different aspects of the game and they just get caught up in their own batting average and if they're in a slump or not. Read the game, learn to be a ball player. Running the bases. If you do happen to get on base during one of your so-called slumps, hustle hard. Run hard, get back to the bag, pick up your sign, take that extra bag if you can on a pass ball, right? Read ball and dirt, okay? Take that extra base on a, on a base hit because you read the outfield and you read that that traje trajectory of that ball was gonna fall, fall in the gap. That's how you can maximize your performance while you're in one of these cold spells. Keep your energy up, okay? Stay energized out on the field, stay moving. You notice when you're not feeling, you're not doing so well right now, how are you feeling? You're not feeling so good. And what happens? Things just tend to get worse. Good. Stay positive, have positive thoughts. Think about the times when you were hitting well and how you felt. Try to bring upon those feelings. You will feel good, you will feel more confident, more energized, and you will bust out of that slump. Do whatever it takes to help the team win. That is baseball and that is the game. Next tip, stop thinking about mechanics. It's not your mechanics, right? Thinking about your mechanics is only gonna slow you down. It's only gonna tie you up and lock you up, okay? We, in order to perform at our, our, at our best, we cannot be thinking about anything but the task at hand, which is see ball, hit ball. Get back to a simple approach, okay? Think, hey man, I'm gonna be on time and I'm gonna drive this ball right back up the middle. That's it, hard line drive, hard ground ball, right back up the middle. So keep it simple, a simple approach is best. Okay guys, let's get into our bonus tips. How to never slump again. 
Tip number one, change your vocabulary, okay? You're like, what do you, what do you mean change your vocabulary? Stop using the word slump, okay? Once you are making your de descend down from your hot zone and you're going through that warm zone and you're dipping into the cold, do not say or even think the word slump, okay? When, as soon as you think slump, you are now in a slump. You're setting yourself up to make that cold zone stay, turn into a canyon, and we do not want to be there, right? That's where we get into, you know, a Chris Davis-esque uh, 0 for 20, 0 for 30, 0 for 40 type, type of drought. Tell yourself that slump, the word S-L-U-M-P, is a bad word. Simply do not say it. If you hear somebody else say it, tell them, hey man, we don't say that around here. The word slump itself brings upon negativity, okay? And negative, negative thoughts lead to negative feelings, and negative feelings lead to negative results, okay? We are trying to eliminate that completely from our arsenal, from our vocabulary. No longer will, sl will a slump ever exist in your mind. Number two, kind of obvious, but be prepared, right? We know, essentially, we can tell the future because you now know that every baseball player gets into a slump, dare I say it. If we know that it's coming, then we can prepare for it. And if we can prepare for it, we can defend it, right? With the right mental skills, we can cope and manage and ultimately defend and eliminate any so-called slump that comes our way. If you master these tips, you will raise your game beyond your greatest competition, and that is yourself. If you implement these tips, you are changing your mindset. You're changing the way you think about the game and about your hitting and about your, your, your so-called your slumps and your peaks and your valleys, your hot zone, cold zone, warm zone, whatever. You literally will never slump again because you will never think about it the same way again. And you'll know that when times get tough, that you will know that it's just a part of the game. And that is how the game is played. The game is played with ups and downs. Life is full of ups and downs, but it's not about, it's not about the ups necessarily, right? Since in baseball, we fail more than we succeed. It's more about how we battle back from those failures, from those setbacks, from those cold zones. So if you just see them as a normal, part of, of life, part of the game, you will never slump again. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know in the comments section down below if you'd like to see more, hear more about this on this topic or any other topic, suggestions are always welcome. I'm gonna leave notes to this video in the description. Be sure to check that out. Implement these tips and let me know how they work out for you. I'll see you in the next video.